You found yourself in the right place, at the right time, with the right people. Today, you're going to understand how you can cash in on the single biggest money-making trend in existence. This isn't some hype fest. It isn't hypothetical. These are the straight facts on how you, the business owner, you, the entrepreneur, and you, the salesperson, can make massive amounts of money right now. You will not need to make an investment today. Forget going out there and starting a new industry or being a pioneer. No one wants to do that. We're simply going to show you some facts about what's happening all over the world. Then once you have the facts, you can draw your own conclusions. Now before we get into this, you should know we're going to treat you like you're a responsible adult. We're not going to play with your mind. We're not going to hype up what doesn't need to be hyped up. We're not going to do a bunch of NLP stuff or any other persuasive tactic. We're going to treat you as if you know what you're doing. You're here as a smart person, so we respect your time. Shall we begin? This is Jeff Bezos' $75 million estate. That's right, you're looking at a $75 million estate. Bezos got this house using the same moves and the same strategy we're going to share with you today. This is important, so take notes. We want you to be aware. We want you to be present because you are about to learn about life-changing and eye-opening information that will change your very existence. So let's get started. Here are some hard, cold facts from one of the top publications in the world, The Economist. This article came out in 2017, making it two years old today. That date's important because it means they saw the writing on the wall before anyone else. You can see the words here. We've highlighted them. It says, the world's most valuable resource is no longer oil, but data. But what does that mean exactly? We hear how valuable data is all the time. We hear that people are mining data or using data for various reasons. We hear how Cambridge Analytica collected our data. That's on a larger scale. On a smaller scale, Equifax recently paid out $150 each to users because there was a breach of data and the government made them pay up. But even though we hear the word data all the time, most salespeople and most business owners really don't know what data is unless they're in the data business. Before we go on, let us explain a few things because there's a lot to talk about in this picture. Until May 6th of 2017, it was assumed that the world's most valuable resource was no longer gold. It was no longer diamonds. It was oil. Much like you can see in the picture here, oil is pulled out of the ocean, amongst other places. Oil is a resource you extract from the ground, and you can do a lot with it. Burn it in an engine, or burn it into gas, for example. But once you use it just that one time, it goes away. It's a non-renewable resource. Still, it is valuable. It flies our jets, powers our helicopters and factories, and of course, it powers our vehicles. Oil is the reason we can get on the bus and hop on the train, too. It was the world's most valuable resource until data became more valuable. This was bound to happen because there is one downfall of oil. When you put gas in your car, you burn it once and then you never get that gas back. You can't collect the gas and reuse it. But when it comes to data, and we will explain the exact meaning of data to you in a minute, you can reuse that data over and over and over and over again. Even more amazing is that you can make money each and every single time that you use data. Now, let us tell you what data is. Data is made up of the contact information of the people who use any kind of business. This might be your email, cell phone, and of course, their name. You can collect any kind of data you want. Once you get that info, then you store it. All that information is referred to as data. Let's say that you're scrolling through social media when you see an advertisement and you click on it. That ad will ask for your name, email address, possibly your mailing address, and maybe a few other things like your credit card number and so on. The kind of data you need to provide depends on if you're purchasing a product or not. Let's say that you were scrolling social media and you clicked on an ad for a Dallas Cowboys baseball cap. Then you bought the cap for $25. Well, these days, what happens is right after you buy that baseball cap, you see another advertisement for a Dallas Cowboys jersey. Well, you're thinking, this is weird, but dude, I love the Cowboys. So you purchase the Dallas Cowboys jersey for $300 too. And if we had been talking about oil instead of Cowboys swag, the sale would have only been that initial $25 sale. But with data, we can turn a $25 sale into a $300 upsell. That's why data is valuable. 
If you look at the biggest companies in the world, Google, Uber, Amazon, and Facebook, they all got rich from data. Now bear with us because we're going to dive even deeper into data. Texas. Texas is a land known for oil, but in the beginning, there was no air conditioning down there. Many Texans today can relate to their grandparents picking cotton in the fields. They were usually dirt poor farmers. And then one day, as they worked the land struggling to feed their families and struggling through the Texas heat to grow crops, a guy would show up and he would talk to them about putting oil rigs on their land. All of a sudden, everybody in the neighborhood, everybody in the city is getting rich because they stopped growing crops and they started mining oil. For years, we've known that Texas, especially in the Permian Basin and down by Houston, is very oil rich. ExxonMobil's headquarters are in Dallas, Texas, and they are one of the top five largest companies in the world, all from oil. People had lived on the land for centuries. Before oil was extracted from their land, they were starving to death. It's hot, it doesn't rain much in Texas. Their crops weren't growing, and that's why they had to grow cotton. They couldn't grow luscious fruits that require a lot of rain. But then these rich oil barons showed them there was a whole new way to get rich. Suddenly, people were like the Beverly Hillbillies. They're getting rich, moving to California. They've sold their lands. They're collecting mineral rights. Remember, we're talking about the same piece of land. What changed is that all of a sudden, these same people on their same pieces of land started extracting oil. Just like oil, history is repeating itself with data. Remember that $75 million house we showed you? That's Jeff Bezos' first office for Amazon.com, his company that he founded to sell books online. But after years of selling books online, he collected a lot of data. Then he started thinking to himself, what else would a book reader want to buy? Maybe a bookmark or book light. Well, suddenly he's suggesting that if you buy this book, you might wanna buy this other book too. And if you bought these books, you might want to buy a bookmark so you don't lose your page, or a book light so you can read in bed at night. His sales increased and he collected more data, but then he made a genius move. He used the data to make repeat sales. After that, he started sending automated emails out saying, if you love this James Patterson novel, you'll love this James Patterson novel. That set the company on a huge money-making path. Now this company is the fastest company ever to hit a trillion dollars in the history of the world, all because of data. Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world. He's so rich, in fact, that he lost roughly $70 billion in his divorce, and he's still the richest man alive. Right before your eyes, Amazon headquarters are popping up all over the place. They're all over Dallas. They're all over every city from San Diego to Los Angeles to Oklahoma. Amazon headquarters are everywhere and not just in the US. Right before our eyes, we watched Bezos get rich because he did one thing well. He mined his data. Bezos is just like those farmers who got rich in Texas mining their oil. Data is the new oil boom. Now let's talk about two other guys. If we don't mention these next two geniuses, you might think that Bezos is the exception to the rule since he's the wealthiest person alive. But let's talk about number two and number three who are right under Bezos on the wealthy list. Warren Buffett is the second richest man alive. His net worth is a reported 86 billion. Buffett owns a company called Nebraska Furniture. It's inside another company's portfolio called Berkshire Hathaway, where he is the chairman and the largest shareholder. That's where the majority of his net worth goes. Two years ago, our founder, Ryan Stuman took a private jet to a meeting with Bill Gates and Warren Buffett to a place called Omaha, Nebraska. It's in the middle of nowhere, but once a year, it hosts the single largest conference of millionaires in the world. There are more billionaires than millionaires per capita in that city than anywhere else in the world at any given time because the man on the right, Warren Buffett, hosts the annual Berkshire Hathaway meeting inside one of the Coliseums. About the only way that you can get into it, unless you book a ticket way in advance, is by private aircraft. It was here that Warren Buffett and Bill Gates would speak on the future. Warren Buffett covered a few plans regarding the future of Berkshire Hathaway, and Bill Gates, as a huge shareholder in the company, had quite a few things to say as well. But here's what our founder took from the meeting. You see, as we mentioned, Warren Buffett owns a company called Nebraska Furniture inside Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway also owns the auto group they just bought from the Van Tool franchise, which is the single largest auto chain in the world. Berkshire Hathaway also owns the second largest real estate brokerage in the world. They now have Berkshire Home Services. 
they bought up many brokerages and merged them all together under one blanket. They also own Geico Insurance, in case you're unaware, plus a plethora of other companies. But what does all this background on Buffett's companies have to do with data? Well, what happens when someone buys a car from one of Warren's dealerships? He can use that data to sell them insurance. What happens when someone buys a home from one of Berkshire Hathaway's companies? He can use that data to sell them furniture. When they buy a house, he can use that data to sell them insurance. When they buy insurance, he can refinance their house. Buffett monetizing data left and right is the reason why Berkshire Hathaway's stock is multiple six figures per share. The reason why Buffett is still the second richest man alive is not that he's been saving his money from all those trips to Dairy Queen, despite what the media might tell you. It's because he's monetizing data. Now on to Bill Gates, the third wealthiest man alive, and arguably the coolest. Bill Gates has given his fortune entirely away twice now, and he's still the third wealthiest man in the world. He can give his money away, and it still finds its way back to him. That's how important and popular and amazing Bill Gates is. He's out there doing amazing things. But think about this. If you go into the mall, you'll oftentimes notice that an Apple store and a Microsoft store are right across the hall from each other. If you go to the Apple store, you might have to book an appointment two or three days in advance. There's a line wrapped around the building like it's Black Friday on a regular Tuesday. But if you look across the mall to the Microsoft store, there are typically tumbleweeds and employees begging you to let them pay you to take a computer. Nobody's going in the Microsoft stores. None of us are buying Word. None of us are buying Excel or any of Microsoft's other software. So how the hell is Gates still the third richest man alive? It's because he's mining data. All those years, when we gave all that data to Microsoft, they mined all that stuff and sold your data to big business. Microsoft is not getting rich selling computers. They're getting rich selling data. Gates is remaining wealthy from selling data. So if number one, number two, and number three are the richest people in the world from data, that should tell you something. History is repeating itself. Data is the new oil boom. When you own a piece of land and you put an oil rig on it, the oil is pumped out. So how do you get data online? Well, first of all, you can turn your domain into cash. Step one, you want to set up a domain. Go to a place like GoDaddy, or we prefer Google Domains. Then register a domain. You can get a .gov, .edu, .org, or .me and set up your own website to collect information. You can pay a web guy thousands upon thousands of dollars to code it up to where it does everything just right for you to make sure you get the data. There are some alternatives to creating that setup, but that's pretty much how it works. You shell out the cash. That's what keeps the average person out of the game. That's probably what kept you out of the data game up to this point too. You don't know how to acquire data, and so you have to pay someone else to set up that ability for you. Just like the Texans who may have owned a bunch of land with oil, but they didn't know how to acquire it, to make money from data, you have to set up a domain to collect visitor information. So once you set up what we call a sales funnel, which is a series of small websites pinned together through hyperlinks, and don't worry, we will explain in layman's terms later, it will collect data for you. This gets you in the game with the big boys that we talked about, like Cambridge Analytica, Facebook, and Equifax. Just as they collect the data from the customers, and in some cases breach the data, we need to be able to collect data too. The media wants you to believe that collecting data is a waste of time, just like the media wants you to believe that it's a bad idea to pump oil. But you know why they do this? So fewer people can cash in on it. Don't fall for the tricks, ladies and gentlemen. The money's right in front of you. Your website is a cash machine. Even if it's not making money right now, after a few tweaks, it will be a cash machine. We'll explain the steps you need to take to make your site into an ATM in a minute. But all it takes is collecting visitor information and turning that data into cash. We're talking free data from social media posts. Putting your website on sites like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, depending on where your audience is, which we'll discuss in a few minutes. It's that simple. You don't have to spend massive amounts of money on advertising to gather data. You don't have to spend billions of dollars on SEO and Facebook ads and everything else. Simply sharing a data collecting website, aka a sales funnel on social media, can help you collect one, two, and three pieces of data every single day. At the end of the year, that's over a thousand pieces of data. At the end of two years, 
That's 2,000 pieces of data. One single email can make you hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of dollars, depending on what your business is. And it's all done with a click of a button and a few strokes on a keyboard. Here are the three steps you need to take to collect that data. Step one, make an offer. You need a sale, a buy one, get one free deal. You might offer a free book or some other sort of special. No matter what you decide, just make sure that you have an offer to draw in the consumer. We have to separate ourselves from the competition by offering to our audience what they really want. Step two, we have to find an audience that actually wants that offer. The more rabid the audience, the better your results will be. Check out this picture of Guns N' Roses playing in front of God knows how many people. The more rabid the audience, the more likely they are to take you up on your offer. In other words, if you put up that Dallas Cowboys hat for sale that we talked about earlier in front of Dallas Cowboys fans on Facebook, you'll see that's a pretty rabid audience. They're likely to buy that hat. However, if you put that Dallas Cowboys hat for sale for $5 in front of a Philadelphia Eagles audience on Facebook, sure, they'll buy it, but they'll piss on it at best. You have to find the right audience. Step three, you have to collect the data. Devise an offer. In exchange for that offer, the client has to give you the data. It's that simple. But remember, this plan won't work unless you have the right audience. Your audience and your offer have to be right for you to collect the data. It's three simple steps. Most people think getting the data collecting website going is the hardest part. Until recently, it had been very expensive and difficult to deal with. In reality, structuring a good offer and finding the right audience is the hardest undertaking. Now we're going to show you how easy activating your site is. It's the simplest part of the equation. That's where we, Phone Sites, come in. Phone Sites is the easiest way to collect data. You can build a mobile-friendly website from your phone or desktop without downloading an app and without downloading software. All you have to do is log into a web-based software where you can simply build a website using drag and drop. It's easy peasy and you will have no problem whatsoever. Here's what's awesome about Phone Sites. Remember the first time you bought your Android phone or your iPhone and you pulled it out of the box? There were no instructions. You had no idea what in the world it did. You simply pushed the on button and the screen lit up. The next thing you know, you're an expert on how your new phone works. It's the same with this software, Phone Sites. It's so easy that as soon as you log in, you'll be able to create your own website in a matter of minutes. Whoa, you just got another lead, look at that. <laughs> like I tell you, Sonny, Phone Sites is the fastest and easiest way to create your own high converting capture page. Once that data starts coming in and you see those leads building up in your email, you'll become addicted. It's free, easy to contact, easy to sell, and easy to follow up with. It changes the leads game for you. If you want to run a marketplace, you have to be good at collecting data and closing sales. When you can do these things, you can create an abundant amount of wealth. Now you should know, if Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Jeff Bezos try to come in on your business since they have more money than you, you will go bankrupt unless you do one thing, sell them the data. So even in a competition where you might lose, the easiest way out and the asset that your company will have if it gets acquired by a bigger company is the data you collect. There's literally no reason or excuse why you shouldn't be collecting data. Let me give you some examples of websites that we use. This one was created in about five minutes from one of our clients. It's a video with an offer and provides a simple way for this client's prospects to give their names, email addresses, and phone numbers. Here's another one from a car dealer in Chicago that speaks Spanish. They made an offer in Spanish to rent or buy a car. Here's another car dealership that offers financing for Uber and Lyft. You see the same setup here of a simple offer, an image, and a phone number. Here's someone else offering life insurance. They used a simple picture with an offer and then provided the ability to get a free quote. Here's a gentleman offering five ways to spot a fake Rolex. This person sells real Rolexes, so their audience needs to be made up of people who would dig and need this info. When they collect the information of those people, that's called a lead. That's data from the people who are interested. Here's a personal funnel from our founder, Ryan Stuman. In this one, and he has many, he sells his top 10 live speaking events all in one spot for 27 bucks. He's made over $20,000 just from this little $5 funnel right here. Here's another one. This is a long tail sales page he has written up. Again, it's nothing fancy, but at the bottom, he simply asks for information and collects it. 
We showed you all these examples because we want you to see it's easy to do. Here's another fact you'll want to know. We have already delivered well into 150,000 leads to our clients. I want you to understand the magnitude of that. That's 150,000 leads to people just like you. Ask yourself, how would that change your business? Now, watch. Our system's so easy to use, all you have to do is drag and drop these blocks. You can put in a headline, subheadline, text, image, and a YouTube video. As you're creating your site, you can see right next to it what everything looks like. It's all so easy. It literally takes you five minutes to set up the entire process. You can't beat it. There's nothing like it out there. And let's tell you how you can get started today. But before we do, we want to expose a lie. We see all this complicated software, all this complicated technology, and think we have to have a fancy website. Fancy websites are like MySpace. They were cool once. Music played, and your cursor turned into a unicorn that farted glitter as Nickelback played in the background. You could see who your top eight fans were on MySpace, but we left that for Facebook because Facebook was way simpler. We left it for Facebook because Facebook was easier to use. We don't need fancy websites. That stuff's confusing and distracting. People want to see an offer. They want to make a single decision, and that's deciding whether they want to give you their information or not. The good news for you is that this is what phone sites is best at. To help you get more traffic and get better at building funnels, we're going to load you up with tons of bonuses for using our product today. We're going to give you phone funnels, which teaches you how to run Facebook and Instagram ads. It teaches you how to create sales funnels that collect information so you can start mining data immediately. We typically sell that for about $1,000. Then we're going to teach you another program called Funnel Closer, where if you choose, you can start a side hustle selling phone sites to other companies that need them, and you can make money that way. Some people we've worked with in the last three years have left their full-time job to go on and make over seven figures a year using the Funnel Closer program. We're also going to give you a free one-year subscription to phone sites. And then we're going to give you a program that we call Permission-Based Selling, which teaches you the modern way to attract people online so they will offer you their data, and that gives you permission to sell them. We also provide 24-7 support in our phone sites users Facebook group, once you're a user of our software, we help you not only to become a marketing master, not only to understand scaling and ads, but we give you the tools so you can ask the simplest or most complex questions. The bottom line is we want to help you. Plus, you can take part in weekly trainings from Ryan Stuman, our staff and other members of the group. This really helps you to sharpen your data mining skills. We will also give you shared funnels, meaning you can just copy what we've already made that works. You can use it in your customers' niches. Then we'll even call you and help you build your first funnel. That's right, we'll help you build your first funnel. We'll sit on the phone with you as we instruct you in how easy it is to get your first website up in less than 10 minutes. Normally, we would price that level of service and all those products at $3,290 plus. When it comes to the shared funnels, the Facebook support and building your first funnel together, you can't put a price on it. It's amazing. But today, all that and more, all of the support you can stand, because our company is SaaS, service and software, is only $997. That's one payment of $997 or three payments of $399. If you need us to stretch it out for you a bit, that's absolutely okay. No judgment. We'll be more than happy to do that for you. You can just make three monthly payments of $399. But if you're ready to move forward, you can pay the $997 right now. Remember, this is tax deductible. You can write this purchase up as a business expense. It includes a year of our software to help you mine data. Do not miss out on planting that oil rig that prints money 24-7 on your domain, called Phone Sites. Head over to phonesites.com forward slash offer and take advantage of this incredible offer immediately. You can get everything we listed out plus more since we're service plus and service first. We'll help you build your first funnel, all for one payment of $9.97 or three payments of $3.99. Simply sign up now. We're looking forward to seeing you in the group. We will help you crush it. You're gonna love this. And don't forget, we're going to help you set it all up so that you can stop living like the poor sharecroppers and start living like the big oil barons, thanks to this new data boom. Take advantage of this new dot-com bubble. You're on the front lines of it, and that means you can cash in on it before it gets too big. This is your opportunity. Make sure you go to phonesites.com forward slash offer and take advantage of this incredible opportunity now.